Hi, I'm Lindsay Kelk, author of The Christmas Wish. In my coziest moments, you would find me curled up on the settee, uh, under a blanket, minimum one blanket, minimum one cat, uh, minimum two cushions, and that could be my whole day, and I would be perfectly happy with that. The book that has kept me up most recently is called The Change by Kirsten Miller. It is fantastic. It's really hard to describe. It is part mystery, part thriller, part speculative fantasy, uh, but set in the real world and about these three very powerful women. It's fantastic. Uh, I was obsessed. Couldn't read it fast enough. I am a Christmas maximalist. I love Christmas. If I were to turn this camera around, Christmas everywhere. Uh, we put the nine foot real tree up the day after Thanksgiving. Took several hours, <laughs> but worth the commitment. I prefer to read at any time of day. I love to read. It's whenever I can fit it in, honestly. I spend so much of my day writing and attached to screens that I'll take any moment I can get. Most often, actually an afternoon reader. I love um, just to lay on that cozy, cozy, comfy spot on the couch and read until the book is done. That is my dream. That is my perfect afternoon. Me time to me means lying on the sofa under two blankets of a cat with a book. Um, no, me time I think is really important. I think we've made it fuzzy and we've made it sound slightly cheesy, but me time is very is really important. You have to look after yourself before you can look after anyone else. And I am someone who is guilty of burning the candle at both ends and trying to do too much. So to me it is about closing a door, being by myself, maybe taking a bath, maybe an early night. Definitely cozy, definitely comfortable and uh, just just refueling, just starting over. Although again, with me time, there's probably still a cat involved. Yes, my family and I have many Christmas traditions, mostly, mostly me. I, I love Christmas, as I've already said. The most important Christmas tradition to me is getting that tree up the day after Thanksgiving. I that's a me tradition that I picked up when I moved to the States and it's one of my favourites. It means you get extra tree. I used to be December 1st, Christmas starts December 1st, but now you get a whole extra week. What's not to love? I take bedtime very seriously, very seriously. So I will go and do my skincare. That will take a minute, roughly about more than a minute, as my husband will point out, because I like to double cleanse, uh, clean my teeth, floss my teeth, put on all lotions and potions that are relevant. Um, then part two is really important is comfy cozy pyjamas. I feel very strongly about pyjamas. I have an extensive collection uh, that, you know, changed throughout the year. Different pyjamas for different seasons and Christmas pyjamas for Christmas. I'm that person. Then I've really taken recently a new uh, must have for me, but I feel really strongly about this also, is a really beautiful um, lavender balm that I've been wearing at bedtime. It's lavender calm balm, which is beautiful. And just lately I've been using a self-heating lavender eye mask at bedtime as well. I've been traveling a lot and I've had a cold. So my sleep hasn't been fantastic, so anything I can do to get better sleep, which I think is so important, um, and that's what my bedtime rituals are all about, is getting that sleep. So the self-heating eye mask and the lavender balm really seem to be working, so they are now essential parts of my bedtime routine. Um, if I had to live one day over and over, I feel like I ought to say something <laughs> really meaningful like my wedding or the 
birthday of a dear friend. Um, but it would probably be, as a cat jumps up to join me on the sessi, um, it would probably be just a very ordinary day. Um, I, I do, do a lot <laughs> and I work a lot and I really value days when um, I just have freedom and to do whatever I want. Maybe if I was in Hawaii on that day, that would be okay as well. Maybe if I was on the big island in Hawaii, I would be in Hawaii every single day if I could be. It's the most incredible place on earth. You're gonna see a cat tail. What's my weekend or holiday routine? I don't really have a weekend routine or a holiday routine because I write full time. I don't really have a routine ever because sometimes I'm working on weekends and sometimes I'm traveling on weekends. But if I had a lovely free weekend, uh, it would look a bit like I would get up, I would drink a cup of coffee, and the coffee would be important because then I would do a spin class and I would need the coffee to get me through the spin class. Then I would eat my breakfast and have a cup of tea. Then I would probably mooch around for a while, comfy bathrobe, blanket time, sofa time. Shower would be important, actually, before that. Um, hang out with the cats, hang out with my husband, and we would go for brunch. If this is a good weekend that we're in a routine, we would go for brunch with some friends, maybe. Yeah, routine is, is, is a struggle for me. Sadly, the only thing that's routine for me on a weekend is changing the bed. But that is very important, because I love my bed. Very, very important. Change your bed, people. It'll change your life. Make it every day. You'll feel so much better. I never used to. I used to be terribly lazy with my bed. Uh, that is part of my routine. Change the bed every weekend and make the bed every day. There we go. I do have a routine after all. Ooh, favorite Christmas food. I just, I love food and I love Christmas. Any Christmas food. Uh, probably my, honestly, my favorite thing is gingerbread cookies. I love gingerbread, I love gingerbread, and I would eat it every single day, I would eat gingerbread men every single day, which is really weird, uh, but I limit myself to Christmas, because otherwise I would eat them every day and then they wouldn't be special, but I do love a good iced gingerbread biscuit slash cookie, just love it, can't go wrong, cup of tea, gingerbread, yes, uh, the cat just let itself out. Um, Favourite Christmas movie, again, I love all of them. I've been really into the classics the last few years. I've uh, got really into some of the like, old American 60s, 50s, 60s classics. So I love Christmas in Connecticut and The Bishop's Wife. Um, they're two of my absolute favourites. Christmas in Connecticut I can watch over and over. White Christmas too, that's really fun. Uh, I could watch those all day long over and over but also Die Hard because I am who I am. And favourite Christmas song is actually an easy one because it is Christmas Wrapping by The Waitresses, uh, which I just love. I just, I love a story. I love a song that's a story and I love Christmas Wrapping. And once I performed it at karaoke in <laughs> December at Drag Queen Karaoke in Palm Springs and uh, it might have been the greatest moment of my life. It felt like a real achievement to get every word. Everyone clapped. Greatest achievement ever. Christmas wrapping by the waitresses can't be beat. <laughs>